Hi, um, I'm going to be showing uh, replacing OpenShift's uh, internal IDP with Keycloak and showing how I can now enable single sign-on between applications deployed to Keycloak and OpenShift. I'll also show how to that we can use the same to log in with the OC command line tool. Uh, this is all provided in a repository that we have here called uh, OpenShift Integration. It sits in the Keycloak organization. Um, it's all a bunch of scripts that lets you easily start up a OpenShift cluster, which is then configured to secure to be secured with a Keycloak instance deployed to the same cluster. All you need to do is to run this script and it will do all this magic for you. We can see here that I've already uh, ran the script. It takes a little while because uh, due to some limitations in OpenShift at the moment you need to first start up OpenShift uh, secured with the internal IDP before you can then stop it, reconfigure it to use Keycloak and then start it back up again. Um, so let's go ahead and try to log into the OpenShift uh, administration console. And we can see that when I was opening the console, I'm now redirected to the login screen on Keycloak and I can log in with my username and password from Keycloak. And there you go. I can now uh, copy the login command as usual and this is now a token issued by Keycloak rather than the internal OpenShift cluster. And of course now I can uh, use the uh, command line tool. I can also do an OC login directly if I want to do that. We can also see that Keycloak is here running inside the OpenShift cluster in the default namespace and we can notice that we're already logged in since we were logged in before uh, to the realm. We're now automatically logged into the Keycloak admin console as well.